Can you build a nuclear reactor at home? Nuclear reactions come in two forms. Fission, where an atomic nuclear splits into two lighter ones, and fusion, where two nuclei combine into a heavier one. While you might demonstrate principles of these reactions with a hobbyist setup, creating an actual reactor is a different challenge. Fission is the easier of the two to explore, because small amounts of radioactive materials are present in everyday objects. For example, smoke detectors contain around 0.2 milligrams of americium-241. Some older camping gas lantern mantles may be coated with thorium-232, but these are now largely phased out due to safety concerns. Tritium, hydrogen-3, is used in glow-in-the-dark gun sights, but the amounts are minute, typically about 1.2 microcuries, not micrograms. These materials are indeed radioactive, but the idea of combining them into a functional reactor is far from realistic. Building a breeder reactor, which uses neutrons to convert thorium-232 into uranium-233, requires a carefully engineered system to manage neutron flux and sustain the reaction. To make fission work as a controlled, self-sustaining reaction, you would need a moderator to slow down neutrons, such as heavy water or graphite, shielding to block harmful radiation, a cooling system to manage heat. Without these, the risks of a runaway reaction or radiation exposure make it nearly impossible to create a safe reactor at home. Even modern micro-reactors are the size of a shipping container and generate about 5 megawatts of electricity, far too complex and powerful for a garden shed experiment. Fusion, on the other hand, is slightly more accessible in principle. Hobbyists have built fuses that use electric fields to accelerate deuterium ions, fusing them into helium-3. This process creates a beautiful purple plasma, but it's wildly inefficient. The energy required to sustain the fusion reaction far outweighs any energy it produces, making it impractical as a power source. So, while exploring these principles is possible with the right safety measures and equipment, building a functional nuclear reactor at home is neither feasible nor safe. Don't forget to subscribe.